Good morning. Good morning. Yes, Big Mama, it's time to make the donuts. I think I have a fun activity for us today. Um, I'm just looking for something that I wanted to use, and you know me, I can't find it. It has gone and disappeared. So, oh, there it is. There it is. So good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. If you're new here, um, welcome. This is what I wanted to use. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Um, I hope you enjoy your time here at Art Before Breakfast and that you'll consider subscribing and becoming a regular member. And if you are a returning viewer, I'm just getting a little bit organized here. Um, welcome back, Big Mama. Oh, Melody. Melody, I have, um, well, let me finish what I was saying. If you're returning, <laughs> welcome back. I'm so glad to have you here. Love you all. Um, and I think we're going to have a, a fun, fun day today. So anyway, Melody, I don't know if you watched the drawing for the Happy Mail for May. Um, or excuse me, for March. But I drew like four names. And your name came up as one of the alternates. And I know sometimes you buy for me. And I didn't know. I don't have a sale going right this minute. But I will have soon. Um, oh, that guy's cute. Um, so I was just going to put your. Because it'll be small. I was just going to put your um, winnings in um, your box. And wait till I have something to go to you. Is that okay? It'll be small. Because it wasn't the main happy mail. But is that okay? All right, so, man, if you guys follow me on, or you're friends with me on Facebook, I did a post yesterday. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think we have found our best, most favorite. Yeah, I, I was having so much fun, I decided to draw multiple names and yours came up. Hi, Mimi. So... Like I said, if you're friends with me on Facebook, I think maybe you went in and liked it. Oh my gosh. It was mushroom stroganoff. And I had all kinds of mushrooms. I had shiitake mushrooms, oysters, enoki, seafood mushrooms. I had king oyster mushrooms. I had regular white mushrooms and some baby portobellos. I think that was it. And it was just this mixture of fresh mushrooms and then the sauce was, did you know, you guys, that you can take, it's a cup of cashews and a cup and a half of water and some salt and throw it in a blender and let it blend until, oh, the kind you eat, yeah, me too. I've never, I've never played with the other kind, so I wouldn't know about those other kind, but Anyway, blend up all that, and it makes a cashew cream that you use for a base for your sauces. Like instead of cream of mushroom soup, you know, that you add some milk or water to and make a sauce that way, you use the cashew cream, and oh my gosh, we are just in love with that. In love with it. So, Mimi, does your son... Um, do the cashew cream. I know he's, he can't do the dairy or the milk. Um, I'm telling you that cashew cream. Hi, Nydia is the bomb. And then you can put other stuff. I put a little Worcestershire in it and some sour cream and then some vegan sour cream. And then um, a little bit of, uh, a bunch of morels. Yeah, I didn't have, I know people here go searching for morels. Um, and then I put a little tiny bit of nutmeg in it. And oh, it was so good. 
God, I made it a lot. Yeah, I remember you mentioned that on your comment on my my post on Facebook. Oh my gosh. So I got my first social security check today. Well, not check, but deposit in my account. Yay. So one of the things I'm going to splurge on and buy is a real high speed blenders because I've started drinking smoothies and that cashew cream, my blender is not high speed enough to really like when you eat it, you can, you can still tell they are a little tiny, they're real tiny chunks of cashew, which is actually kind of cool, but, um, going morale hunting after leaving the gathering. Um, oh, Mimi, he should try it or you should try it for him. Cause I'm telling you what, it's good. It's a cup of cashews. We use raw unsalted, um, a cup of cashews and a cup and a half of water and you just blend it till you can't blend it anymore, but it's good. And it thickens up and it's just really good. Anyway, enough of my stories. Morel hunting. I've never done that. And now that I'm into this whole vegan thing, man, we stopped when we went down to South Carolina, we stopped at an Asian market because that's the only place I can find some of these specialty mushrooms is at the Asian markets. And I have so more mushrooms than I'll be able to eat before they go bad. So I'm going to go put some in the dehydrator um, and dehydrate them. Hi, Leah. Oh, I have got to find, and I know it's here somewhere. My, um, book because we had a new person whose birthday was either today or tomorrow and i gotta find out who that is so we can do our birthday celebration um but leah since you've been here a few times it looks like you might become a regular um we do a birthday club where on your birthday i sing to you and then we do a toast um, did you want to give me your month and day of your birthday? Hi, Cindy. Same with you. If you want to tell me the month and day, whoops, S-C-Y-N-D-I, um, I'll put you on the birthday club list too. Oh, we just missed you. Okay. We'll take care of that. You did give me, I thought you might have, but give it to me again because I'm so dang absent-minded and I can't find my book and I just want to make sure I put you in my planner book. I know we're going to do a song anyway, Mimi. Mimi since it's so close and we just October 19th. Thank you. All right. So we're going to do a happy belated birthday. So everybody grab your drink of choice. Well, let's wait a little bit till more people get in here. Let's wait a little bit and we'll do it. Oh, wow. Leah, that was a special birthday. Wowza. Do you know, well, I'll be 65 in, in August, and I my age has never, like even when I turned 50, it, it just never bothered me because I was like, I'm still the same person. I feel great. I It's just never bothered me. But 65, um, the thought of 65 is a little daunting. It's first time ever that I've even been close to being nervous about a birthday oh yours is a 52 wow mimi that's a big one do you know the only year the only year that i was ever bothered by my age was when i turned 26 and Oh, Melody, you and I are pretty close. I'll be, I'll turn in August and you'll be December. Um, 
the only year was 26. And the reason that bothered me because <laughs> 29 big mama, because now I was closer to 30 than I was to 20. And for some reason that bugged me, but uh, anyway, Yep, we're pretty close. All right, so here's what we're going to do today. And I've done this before, but I think it's been a long time. And if you aren't a regular, you probably weren't here when I did this before. What I'm going to do, these cards that I have that are left over from that Celebration of Life book, I want to cover them. But we're going to do a tag or a, a like a collage thing. But what I'm going to do is we're going to take strips and I'll cut these down. I don't need them quite this big, um, but we'll then go, you know, different things on them, different strips and then like this and I don't know, maybe like this, but we'll do different and I'm going to cut these down quite a bit to probably like half inch strips. Um, so we'll, Oh, and June, look at all of us who are going to be 65. Yeah, I I don't know. I um I'm I'm struggling a little bit right now, but not with age. It's not the thing with age. It's um it's the fact that I started I went on social security. Uh, because I'm not quite 65 yet, but I went ahead and took my social security because, um, well, lots of reasons, but um, I just did. And that's a little scary for me. These birthdays are much fun. <laughs> I don't know. They're just days. My hubby and I, we have a um, kind of a tradition we started a long time ago. And that is that hubby and I go and get um, pedicures on my birthday because it's in the summertime. And I don't know, we just, we started doing it several years ago and we just continued and so we'll probably go <clears throat> and get a pedicure. But other than that, we don't do a whole lot of celebrating. Um, I'm just not, like, I don't need a lot of presents and might get me a present. But it's more about jail time. <laughs> Good morning, big mama. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, I joined the AARP because there's some good benefits to that, um, that little program. I'm just cutting some smaller strips here, you guys, before we get started. Um, yeah, AARP definitely makes you feel like you're getting older. Let's see what I've got here. Oh, hello, Marie. Hello, Pam. I know, Mimi, I know. It's just another... Um... Hi, Cheryl. It's just another, you know, major life event. That's the only thing. And I don't know. Just another life event. So I'm cutting strips. We're going to use strips of paper today. I, think I might have already cut one of these, but we'll cut another couple. And what else have I got under here? Oh, here's some black and white. I've got all sorts of colors under here. I just went pawing through my scrap bucket this morning. Oh, look at this one. It's pretty. Um, and 
Let's see what else have I got under here that I just absolutely need to use. Look at that green one. Cheryl, my first check was deposited. I signed my husband up when he turned 50, and then when it came in the mail, I gave it to him. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. That is really funny. All right. I think we've got enough to start. Um, oh, Mimi likes this paper. we got to use this. I think Mimi chose this one for a project, and that's just the little scrap I have left over. All right. Let's just go with this to start with. And I'm sure if we need more, I can cut more. So I'm just going to pull out these thinner scraps for us to use. And then these I'll set aside. This one I really liked, though. That's too thick. Let me cut this in half. Um, I'm cheap and I wanted the discounts. Oh, my gosh. I hear you, Big Mama. That's one of the benefits of AARP is you do get the discounts. All right, let's start with this, and I'll put all these bigger pieces aside. And then if we need more, we'll cut them. All right, so I'm going to do three cards today. I'm going to do these sort of, well, we'll do them one at a time, but I want to do three, and then we'll decorate them. Uh, um... mad scientist oh my gosh Cheryl why did I just see a mad scientist when you said that driving to the lab Ugh. all right so what I'm going to do oh that's fun that's got a fun backside too so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by gluing down um, a bunch of strips. We'll go one way and then we'll turn the card and go the other way. So you'll get like some little diagonal. And on this, you don't want to start right in the corner. That makes it kind of boring. No. Let's go down this way. And I got to put a little more glue under here. And then we'll cut them off in a little bit. So we're just going to line up some some strips. And Let's see, what strips do I want to use here? How about one of these? Actually, I'm going to put it more towards the end so when I cut it off, I can still use the rest of it. And then when we cut off the, um, the little ends, that'll give us some little tiny triangles that we can use to fill in up here on the corner like, well, I don't have one that I want to use just yet. So, so I'm going to put, I'm going to leave that at that. And then I'm going to start going down the other way. So you see what I'm doing. So this is going to be our background. Okay, you guys see what's going on here? All right, let's go here. 
Hey, Cindy. Oh, sorry you got to go, but I understand life happens. All right, let's see. What else do we have to put on here? I'm doing this one a little bit. And sometimes I'll just use all sorts of grungy paper, sometimes different um, book page. You can do anything on these. Let's put one of these. up here. You just want to butt them up right next to each other. Isn't that fun? And then we will decorate. So I've kind of got this one going in the neutral colors. And then let's do this little, oops, not quite big enough. Um, let's see what else I have here. We didn't do a black one yet. Your message got held for review. Big Mama. I just thought you might want to know that. <laughs> but I approved it. All right. There's that. And now we have like one of these little tiny triangles that had been cut off from one of the other pages. And we'll just pop that right in that little spot there. And then we'll go down here and finish up. How about this one? And then we have one more little corner right there that we'll fill in. We're going diagonal. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Thumbs up, everybody. I'll do it as well. And then, um, hang on, let me go back up here. Okay, Leah, are you still here? I hope you are, my dear, because it's time. Leah's birthday was on April 4th. And that was before she was here and part of our group. So... We didn't, we weren't able to give her the happy birthday celebration. So let's do it. Let's. Raise our glasses, our cups. Um, cup of coffee, cup of tea, cup of water, juice. Shot of vodka. Raise your cups and here we go. Um, Leah, are you here? I want to make sure Leah's still here before I sing because you know I'm not the greatest singer in the world. So I'm going to cut these down while I'm waiting to see if Leah is still here. Maybe when I told her I was going to sing, it scared her away. Oh, there you are. All right. Raise your cups, ladies. And here we go. <clears throat> Happy birthday. Oh, I got to start over. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday, dearest Leah. Happy belated birthday to you. Cheers.
you got to uh, hear my awful singing voice. I have a funny story about my singing voice. If you guys want to hear another of my stories. Yes. Happy birthday, Leah. We hope it was a wonderful birthday. Okay, there we go. Now I've got some different pieces to use. I'll put another one of those down there. Hi, Darla. You just missed our birthday celebration. Leah's birthday was April 4th. That was before she joined us. So we just did, since it's still an April birthday, we just did a happy belated birthday song. So we'll put that one there. And then I've got a little spot up here. Um, we'll put this one. Oops. And then I've got one right here. Aw, I'm glad. That's always our goal in this group is to make your day, make your day. You know, we have so many challenges in this dang life. It's we can do something to make make it easier and more enjoyable then i say let's do it all right let's see which one do i want to put in here how about a little black and white hmm. that one doesn't have a corner to fit in there Let's just do this and we'll make it like that green just went up a little bit there. We are making, we're playing with scraps. Hang on, so let me cut this down and then I'll show you what we're making. I went into my scrap box and I found a whole bunch of different uh, scraps like longer pieces, and then I cut them down into strips. And I probably need to cut a few more different varieties. I cut them down into strips, and then we're putting the strips on. Um, see that? So I did some across here, and then I started going down this way, and then we can decorate. Uh, I'm going to make three of these cards and then we'll decorate. Strips. <laughs> Strippers. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know about that, Leah. So let me tell you my funny story about a singing voice. Um, I have a huge smile on my face right now, Leah, because... It just makes me smile when other people are happy. Um, Mimi, the spy cam I planted still works. <laughs> um, so when I was in my 20s, my son was born, so I had to be 24, maybe. I lived in this really small town. And um, I um, let's do one with some color this time. Um, I lived in a small town and I joined one of the girls that I worked with. Um, she, she didn't run it, but she kind of spearheaded the projects for community theater. There was an old barn that had been turned into a theater and her and her husband would produce these plays. And I worked with her and she's like, oh, you should come and join us. And did this. So I did. And the first um, play that I did was like the princess and the pea. And I played the wizard. I don't know if the, I don't know if there's a wizard in the real one, but there was <clears throat> a wizard in ours. 
and I had this long flowy robe and <clears throat> it was fun. <clears throat> Can't erase these smiles. I know, isn't it? When you can do something to make somebody's day, it just, or make somebody just happy. I, I just, it makes me happy and warm inside. Anyway, so back to my, so I played that, um, and that went really well. It was not a musical. It was just a speaking part. And it went really well. And I really loved it. I was like, oh, I want to be an actress. And um, and then the next role, it was like, oh, I guess I did like three different. One was like an, um, a vaudeville thing where we had all these little skits. And I did that, and that was really fun. And um, and then we had one that was, oh, that's going to cover up the corner too. Good. Uh, and then we did one that was um, the three little plays in one big play. And I played just a girl. It was two roommates, and one roommate had been treated badly by her boyfriend and she was all stressed out and that was me and then um the other girl was the voice of reason saying you know just get over it i'm actually maybe gonna go three ways on this one um so that one went okay because i didn't have to you know sing or anything that was it was a bedroom scene we had a couple of beds in there and um, it was fun. It was fun. So those were my introductions to, um, okay, these aren't going on as straight. So I'm going to back it up, make sure this one is straight. Because they, they need to butt up. And sometimes if your paper is cut crooked, you may need to recut it. Like this piece right here is really crooked, I can see. So I'm going to take that out for right now. And so then the next play came up, and it was a musical. And I'm telling you guys, I cannot sing. And all the parts in this musical had to have a solo. Just, this didn't cut very even. Let me, um... Let me cut a couple more pieces of something here. Let's do this one. Um, so one of the guys, his name was Ron Bacon. He was an accountant. He had a beautiful voice. And um, he starred in the, you know, he, he sang in the musical. I don't even remember what it was, like Bye Bye Birdie or... I don't even remember what the musical was. But anyway, he agreed to give me singing lessons. And so I, so that I could be in this play. And so I would go over to his apartment and in like in the evenings and get music lessons, get singing lessons. And after about four or five singing lessons, he said to me, he said, I think you might want to think about getting a um, spot like behind the scenes. Because <laughs> he says, you don't have a musical ear. You cannot sing. <laughs> I was devastated. Um, hey, Bonnie. So I did the lights that year. I sat up in the big tower up there and I, I did the lighting for the, the play for that one. <laughs> so as far as a good singing voice, yeah, not me. Not me. Not my thing. Maybe happy birthday I can do, but yeah, it was funny. It was funny. He was like, and he was an accountant kind of a guy. And he, um, 
my dad had his own accounting business. And when my dad was ready to get rid of the business, um, Mr. Ron Bacon bought it from him. But anyway, so that was my big foray into... Let's see, I want these to go. Oh, let's just go down this way. But let's just go this way. Huh. Hey, April. Solo, no one can hear you. Ah, 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 ah. Well, I, I mean, he did it nicely, but that's what I was there for, was to learn how to sing. And he just had to deliver the news that, you know, we're all good at some things and not good at others. And for me, singing wasn't my thing. Like I said, I can do happy birthday, but I just thought it was so funny. But that's okay. I got to sit up in the booth and... Um, I got to sit up in the booth and do the lights, and that was actually kind of fun. Oh, Gwen, welcome back, my dear. Let's see, what should I put here? How about these? And then I just need one for right here. About... Let's leave in just a little tiny spot there. How about this one? That one works. So that's my singing story. Oh, that's my husband vacuuming. You know he's done that before. He's vacuuming on the hardwood floors upstairs. So y'all, I told, oh, I mentioned earlier this morning, that's the most beautiful music in the world, the husband vacuuming. <laughs> yep. Well, our dog sheds like crazy. And so we can only let it go so long. And then it's like, okay, time. clean the floors and it's funny how dog hair gravitates to certain spots in the house um it's funny how that works okay there's number two done what did i do with the first one we just finished Look at that. Isn't that pretty and kind of springy? So we'll decorate that one and then we'll do one more. And then we'll start decorating the top of them. Oh, there's the other one. So there's the two that we've done so far. Look at those. Aren't those fun? Has anybody ever done this before? Or is this a new technique for you? Let's see, I want to cut uh, just a couple more different patterns. Um, I want to do another one of these because this was really pretty. Let's 
Oh, look at the back side of this. It's got a couple of those. So we can have the back side of one and the front side of one. Let's see what else do I have. Oh, I have this really bright one. Mimi, these are your colors. I'm going to cut it in half because we probably don't need it that long. Let's see, did that cut straight? Yep. And that's got a back side to it too. So we'll. Cut it that way. All right, there's a few more varieties. Makes you hold your breath. Why? All right, let's let's do right in the middle. Let's do some crossways, and then we'll go up and down on either side of it. Just for you, Mimi. Well, no, I can't do that if I'm going to put multiple strips going this way. Let's do... Yep, you've done it. Done this with torn paper strips. Yep. Mary Kay catalog. Oh, very cool. Oh, looks like I'm good. I promise you I'm not. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to adapt this idea, actually. Um, I'm just going to do... a few different pieces here. I'm going to put this one on. This is going to be very eclectic. I'm just going to use a lot of different strips that I have here. This one. I'll just make it all very... Let's, um, yeah, let's... I don't know if I want to start going down yet or... Or if I want to put one more strip across. I think I want to put one more strip right here. What can I find? How about this one? The thing I like about this purple glue is that I can tell when it's still really sticky and then when it's kind of dried out. And I need to put more glue on there. So there's that. I understand, Hada. Yeah, I don't know if I've missed Darla. I think I said hi to you. And Gwen. I think I've said hello to everybody. Okay, if you guys are watching this on the replay, I'm going to do a TMI conversation right now, but with this crew that I have, I mean, it's not bad, but not something you'd normally talk about on the internet. So you guys, you know that I have been, you know, haven't had like a steady income, a regular income the last well, many years. And I cut way back. I don't, like, get my hair done anymore. I don't. Oh, he came and closed the door because he's going to vacuum downstairs. He didn't want to bother us. Um, well, you know, and I hardly ever buy clothes because, you know, I'm just at home all the time. And I don't need a lot. And so I don't buy a lot of clothes, which means all clothes. So I promised myself that when I got my unemployment check, I would treat myself and purchase some bras 
because they are like so stretched out and worn and they're years old. And you know, when you're not bringing in a ton of money, that's like not the highest thing on your priority list to purchase. And so I haven't. And so tomorrow I'm going to go to the store. Isn't that exciting? Oh, hi, Taylor. I was talking about bras, Big Mama, and I looked up and I saw your message. You should have took some of mine home. I was like, yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right, there's that. Let's find another little piece for this corner. Bra shopping. I know, it's so unglamorous, but, you know, those are the things that you have to do, and I haven't done them for a long time, and now that i got a little extra money in my account, I'm going to do it. We still got plenty of time. We can decorate these guys. All right. What do we want here? Oh, I've got a little with some bling. How about some bling on here? And how about some of actually I want to move that over a little bit so it's not just directly across from this. Um yeah. Here's this one. So this is just all a mi mishmash of colors. Um, that a little. Book text, or not book text, but um, writing, a little cursive. But oh, that's a pretty one. Oh, let's put this one down now. Okay. I love it when they fit and they cover up the whole thing and I don't have to put a little piece in the corner. Um, oh, I guess I haven't put any of this on. We should have some of the... And what else? Got some of that. I've got that over there. I mean, I can use the same colors again. It's not, there's no rule or anything. Oops. Oh. Uh, I don't, I was talking to someone the other day about that, and she said, boy, if I don't have to wear one, I don't, and I was like, I just don't feel dressed without it, I don't, I don't feel like my outfit is complete, all right, let's cut this one off, and then we'll figure out some stuff. I have some fun stuff to put on it. I hate the over-the-shoulder <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, okay. I still get you two mixed up. You're just so... <laughs> You're just so similar. And you're, you know, besties, which makes me think of one, I think of the other. Of course, Big Mama, Mimi too, but especially Big Mama, I don't think you've ever met a person who didn't become a bestie. I think you're just one of those people that everybody's automatically your best friend. Oh, 
Ava, good morning. This is your first time here. Welcome. Oh, I can't imagine that. I can't imagine that, Big Mama. Um, so, Ava, this is your first time. Let me tell you, the ladies here are wonderful. You're going to get a really... Um, Oh, Wendy. Did Wendy come in too? Did I miss her? Hello, Wendy. There she is. She's got a wrench, so she stands out. Um, so, Ava, this is a very interactive group. So we all kind of participate. I'm going to clean up this mess. I'm going to put all these strips into a, like one of those little pouches or something so that when I want to do this again, I've got a whole bunch of strips already cut. Um, so I'm just going to move these to the side for right now. And then I'll put them in, a, put them in an envelope later. Um... So, Ava, were you at Big Mama's house for the, the gathering? So we are a very interactive group. You get to participate in making stuff. And it's fun. Just chat away. And sometimes I'll ask for your input. And you're welcome to give it or not. Um, you were. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're here. We have so much fun. And of course, you know, Big Mama's always getting into trouble. He's always saying something. And between her and Mimi, they get blocked just a little bit on... I need to get some Windex for this thing. Um, they're always getting... I'll see a little message pop up in my live chat and it'll say the following message was held and then it'll give me an option to hide it or show it. And not big mama. Yes. Big mama. Can you believe it? All right. So here's what we did. This one's fun with the strips down the middle and then some going up, some coming down. That's a fun one. That kind of springy one is fun. Um, I just took some cards and we're putting um, strips on them. Diagonal strips. That one's more of a kind of a fall. So now we get to decorate them. And what I have, I have been doing magazine harvesting. And I have some fabulous, fabulous images that I want to go through and use on these cards. So let me find look at this one. No time to talk. See you the next year. Isn't that fun? So I've got that image. And I've got that little collie dog image standing on some rocks. Might be kind of cute there. This guy's too big, but look at him. I think this came out of my... Was this my AARP? I don't know. Um... And this one's too big, too, but look at that guy. Isn't that great? Um, <laughs> yeah, Wendy, they're fun. Yeah, it's too big for that. I'm getting ready to do a... 
could maybe put her. We'd have to lose her arms, but we could put her on there on one if you want. I'm going to let you guys pick the images once I get some choices. That's pretty. Oh, look at these two. But that would cover up most of the card because I want the background with it. So let's not do that one. Oops. Um, she would be pretty cut out with the roses. There's another little, okay, okay, here we go. We're getting to some of the more fun ones now. I have nowhere to set stuff down where it's not going to fall on the floor. Look at these guys. Look at the orangutans. Look at this. This is a pygmy loris. Wouldn't that be cute just poking out the side of that card? I love that one. I've got some jewelry. And then this is where I got, you guys will remember her. This was the girl um, with her hands up that we did on the purple card. And I kept this because I think this is really good texture still. Um, isn't this a fun image? Some of these are too big for here, but isn't that a fun image with all the guys holding her up on the surfboard? My glue book we're going to have a lot of fun in. Look at that background. Okay, let's, oh, here's some mushrooms. Here's this little girl we could cut out. Here's some little oranges we could cut out. An apple. Are you guys seeing anything you like? I think he's just too big unless we turned him sideways and put him on one. All right, let's, ooh, there's a cupcake that could go on one. All right, let's, here's some cute, oh, look at that little owl and the little gosling and the skunk. There's a lot of cute ones there. And I've got like, I could cut out, well, I could cut out both of them and put them on there. All right. I'm just about through these. Am I boring you guys? We are making, um, well, they could be tags, they could be journal cards, but I had some some cards left over from another project and they had printing on one side of them. So what I did, and we just finished this part of it. Um, we put the, you know, cut strips and we went diagonally one way and then diagonally another. This one has diagonal in the middle and then going off. And then this one is all up front or all across the top and then coming down or depending on which way we turn them. So now I want to decorate the, oh, oh, look at that. I want to decorate the fronts of them. And I'm going through a bunch of um, magazine images that I harvested. There's some little statues of things. Um, uh, 
I can't remember. This is um, Fanny. Um, oh, what's her name? Fanny Flag. All it says is Fanny, Fanny, Fanny. But look at that picture of her. I thought that would be so pretty on a big glue page. All right. I think that might be, I mean, I still have more pages, but I think that might be. Keep popping off live. Ooh, there's a teacup with something in it. A lot of these I'm going past because they're just too big. Look at that. Isn't that just a sweet image? I've been having fun. Oh, look at this, you guys. You guys with the warped sense of humor will like the, this. Look at this is mama or grandma holding the newborn baby. And in the mirror, it shows the wolf <laughs> holding the newborn baby. I thought that was funny. Let's. Let's wrap this up and just pick something. Look at this, Bonnie. I've got a pig. I was going to cut out just the pig. Oh, my goodness. Look at that guy. This one says she believes she could, so she did. And it's butterflies. I would cut off the bottom where it says the Jones family, but that's pretty. Um, yes to the pig. Okay. Look at this one with the sugar skull and the cat on it. Isn't that fun? And look at the little dog. All right. All right. All right. I keep saying I'm going to finish, but then I keep finding all these cute little... There's another dog going the other way. All right, oh, look at the steampunk, you guys. Stop, Cheryl, stop. I've still got more pages, but I'm going to stop because this is crazy. And I've got upstairs, I've got a whole bunch more pages because I sit upstairs. You know, I, um, I don't know if those of you who remember, but I had put an... A request out on my neighborhood um, website page and did I pull that out um, asking if anybody had old magazines that they wanted to get rid of I would happily take them and I got so many magazines and such a variety of magazines Kid mass is hanging on my wall to remind me of better days. Well, maybe we can make a pig tag. Um, so I have all these magazines now, and I just need to... Um, that might be fun behind the pig. And I want to do a big glue book. Several people have been doing those glue books and I, I prepped a um, magazine I just we're doing the color book right now so that's kind of the same thing 
And so I thought I would wait until we're done with that. And then maybe on Tuesdays we'll do glue book stuff. So I, um, I have this, the woman within, is this the one? Nope, this isn't it. I have one where I, I went through and I glued pages together, like two pages together. And then, um, all right, so here's my envelope of images. All right, so let's, well, hi, Julie. Go to the bottom of the pile in the right corner and get me that page that has fruit and vegetables and just drop it because I really like it. This one. Is this the one you were talking about, Big Mama? Oh, look, on the back you've even got some stuff. All right, so here's what we're doing. Uh, let me go back over it, and then you guys can help me pick out the images for these. Um, my actual cards must be in here somewhere. There they are. All right, so... Julie, I made these cards with strips of paper that I just, you know, glued on the diagonal. We made three of them. And now I want to dec now I want to decorate them. Oh, no dig deeper. Fruits and vegetables, eh? It must have been in the stuff that I put back because I don't have anything else with fruits and vegetables here. That's the only one I have. Was it this one? No, surely it wouldn't be that one. All right, so I like I really like these images. Look at this dog on here. If we fussy cut him and put him on here. Texas Chainsaw. What do you think about I know, aren't they fun? So good way to use up your um strips. glad you joined us again. I watched your video of putting the journal together and I probably picked not the worst one, but the worst one for me because I put like a gazillion journals together and um, I've got this one with all the animals on it. So I'm thinking I'm going through these again for the, I just don't see. So what do you guys think about fussy cutting this little guy and putting him on here? Wendy stole it. She liked it too. I don't, it must be in the, in the, um, I'll look through and see if I can find one, then I'll, if I can find it, then I'll, um, Anyway, what do you guys think about this? The dog is cute. I know. Let me cut. 109. So we've got half an hour to decorate. And if we don't finish now, we'll finish on Friday. This guy is just so stinking cute. So 
So what does everybody have planned for today? Just received, rescued Tom's package. The neighbor dog stole off our porch. Oh, my gosh. I'm hiding at Big Mama. That's not good. So is that dog's name Pirate? As in porch pirate. You know, we live so far out of town that, I mean, not that far, we're like six miles, but there's like, nobody would steal off of our porch and never say never. But um, I don't think anybody would because one, it's very noticeable when somebody comes up our driveway because nobody comes here. I mean, we're not in a people... People drive by on the main road, down at the main road by our house, but we're back off the road quite a bit. So, you know, you would just notice, be too easy to get caught here. Do a video and wash clothes. You're right. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what's funny about that, Ava? My husband and I were talking yesterday because he recently, um, well, he just quit his job. He was tired of working, quit his job. And so he's not, he didn't like retire. He just quit working. And we were talking, we were running up to the post office yesterday for me to drop off packages. And we were talking about washing clothes because he's always washed his own clothes. He likes to wash his own and I wash mine. And it's just sort of how we, you know, cause I wouldn't, you know, the days I would wash him, he'd be out of clothes or whatever he needed socks, for example. And it wasn't my day to wash. And so I don't know. He's just like, I'll just do my own that way. I'll have them when I need them. And so we were talking about that yesterday and i said well you'll find when you're home all the time you don't go through so many clothes because you know you can wear them a few days in a row it's not like you know you're going anywhere people are going to see you and they don't get all that dirty and he's like i know i've already been finding that i said yeah usually me when i do my laundry it's because i've run out of underwear <laughs> i need to <laughs> and i need to do my laundry so i have clean underwear so ava your comment hit home Ooh, an extra live video today at one Ooh, i may have to come and see that work in the garden okay <laughs> yeah he does he doesn't cook, and he very seldom, every once in a while, like he'll go in the kitchen and clean up after dinner or something like that, but not very often because he he does other things, and, and I'm good with that. I'd rather him do the outside work, which he does. Oh, my goodness. How cute is that? That doesn't. How cute is that? Now, I have an idea. Hang on. What do I do with it? There it is. What if we had a piece of rice paper? So like just go right behind him and just sort of give him a little more of a background. What do you guys think about that? Running errands for Bobby today. He wants me to plant his garden. Oh, that's really nice. Bonnie. My peas are sprouting. I'm so excited about that.
so I've got that rice paper, or I'm trying to see if I have another one that would work. I've also got hmm, like that one. that one. Yay for peas. I know they sprouted really fast. They're in my little, you know, grow container thing. So I could put, you know, a little piece that kind of, I'll tear it so it feathers off and then put him on there. I could do that. He would sit up about like that. Or I've got this writing that could go on here, this text. And we could put him in front of that. Or the black, I think, is too harsh. I don't. Yeah, I don't like the black one. Um, not for this, anyway. So it's between these two. Do you guys think that the rice paper would? I'm not planted a single thing because they waited till after the gather. Oh. Uh, because I waited to have to gather. It's still cold here. Yeah, I won't plant in the ground till Mother's Day, after Mother's Day. But I have a little plant growing system I bought. And in the garage, I have it. It's got a heating mat. And then it's got one, two, three, four trays with various seeds in them. And then it's actually got some grow lights on it. So give me a yay or a nay, you guys. Do you guys like the... idea of putting a little bit of rice paper behind him. Well, certain parts of California get tons of snow. Oh, Memorial Day. Ours is Mother's Day. Let's do this one. You guys are all chit chatting. And that's perfectly fine. All right. So let me. Oh, we could set him on this little thing here. Um, let me get, oh, that has some water in it. Um, All right, let's just put, because I don't want to cover up the whole background that we worked so hard to create. Um, I like the rice paper or the teal scrap. Oh, this one? Yeah, that one has some gold on it. It's snowing in Wyoming. Hi, Tammy. All right, there's that. Put this back in here. So I am the worst about not putting things away as I go, and then I end up with a huge mess. Do you other crafters do the same thing? It's just I want to pull everything out to play with it, but then I don't want to stop and put it all back. So I'm going to be good and put this back in the package if I can get it in. This is probably another reason I don't put stuff away because it's a pain in the patootie. Sherry, is that Sherry Habing? Oh, hello, Sherry. Okay. 
here we go. Now, if we put this down like this, and we put him on there like this, what else do we need like a word across here? What do you guys think? Do you like this? No, never, no way. Uh, oh, one had a butterfly on it. Oh, this one. What do you think? Look at him with his little bow tie. I'm going to um, go ahead and stick this down. What greenish print one? What greenish print one? Um, just going to put this right along here. And Correctly, I dropped this thing on the floor. Yes, I did. All right, let's just pull these out so they feather. And then we'll just set him on here for now because we may want to put... What do we want to put on there with him? anything oh you know what i have that might look kind of cool let me find that this one i've got some vertical words and you know maybe right down here since he's I can read all my vertical. There we go. Um, like here's one I have. Look for the good. Like doesn't that look cool with just a um, vertical word on there? But let me. I know I have more. Just have to. In your eyes, which doesn't really fit. Hmm. Ah, this is cute. Fearless. He's fearless. I know I have more of these. I just am not seeing them in here. Yeah, these are the lids. I got these at a um, a thrift store or an estate sale. I have a whole pile of them. These are lids that go on like takeout containers. And they're perfect for this. And I paid nothing for the set of them. Okay. All right. I want to print on rice paper, but my can all... Yeah, that's too bad. I haven't tried printing on rice paper, but I did print on... Um, what did I print on? Fabric? Vellum? I don't know. Oh, no, tracing paper. I printed on tracing paper. Well, those are the only two verticals that I can find right now. Do you like either one of those?
What do you guys think? Do either of those work? Oh, here's another big tray of words. Let's see if I have some verticals in here. Oh, yeah. Beautiful soul. Aww. He's a beautiful soul. And I could put some cheesecloth behind the words. Here we go. I knew I had more. In quiet moments. Simple things. Enjoy the moment. Um, I knew I had a bunch more of these. But that, I think, may be all. Do you guys like any making memories? Beautiful soul is your pig. Okay, we'll keep that out for the pig card. What are we doing time-wise? We're 126, so we only have a couple more minutes. We won't get them all. We'll decorate the, the other two on Friday, including the pig. We'll put this pig on one. All right. No, beautiful soul is going with the pig. know if that one's okay so we've got look for the good as in the dog is good making memories in quiet moments enjoy the moment fearless and simple things where was sherry you like wild thing <laughs> uh Oh, no. Oh, no. You want me to get a piece of paper and stamp wild thing? I can do that. Would you rather, would you guys like to have wild thing on there? I have one for fearless. I liked fearless, too. I had one for fearless. Fearless is good. Fearless. Okay. Let's go with fearless so I can finish this up. And I think this tag is perfect for this. I may round the corners on this guy. And then let's... I don't have any dyed cheesecloth right now, but that's okay. Okay. That's okay. We can just put this on. So I want to just kind of pull it out a little bit, make it a little bit fluffy. And I think this is going to be a little too wide. And he is fearless. What do you guys think about that? And then I'll ink around the edges, of course. You guys like? Might put a little number or something up there. He doesn't look fearless. He looks bored. <laughs> still be fearless that's funny how about also putting a little hang on um, I'm looking for like a little number or some little thing just for balance right up here. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And 
Nope, it needs to have some color so it doesn't... Um... Okay. How about a little label up there? And then the fearless can come down a little beside him. What do you guys think about that? Too much with the label or, and I actually am thinking the label could be like half off the, the thing. It doesn't need to go all the way across. So what do you guys think about that? <laughs> Who put this bow tie on me? <laughs> so what do you think about this? Bone, James Bone. That's cute. Yeah, I like it too. Okay, we are at an hour and a half. I'll glue this thing down. And then on Friday, we'll pick images for the other two we'll do one with the pig um i may want to do a different base for it though we'll see and since pigs are bonnie's thing i'll let her pick the base um i just don't know if these are too you know for this dark um like if this might need like book page and music like you know stuff like that as the background or if one of these others i don't know we'll see we shall see all right ladies i love you all make sure you give me a thumbs up please um oh you need a remote control for that fan bonnie they make fans with remotes now oh and i like it cute 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 um so anyway i'll get him glued down and uh, it inked up around the edges. And I think I will, um, I will uh, round the edges. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Yeah. And I'll see you Friday. Tomorrow we're at Penny's. But I'll see you on Friday. Wish me luck in my bra shopping. Um Love you all. Have a great day. Bye.